Um, oh my gosh, Lotto. Lotto, you need to stop rapping. <laughs> you need to stop rapping, Lotto, because you don't have talent. And the thing about it is, Lotto, Bitch from the South is a pretty decent song. Moo Wop is a pretty decent song. It's not like you make all bad music. I don't like big energy. You don't make all bad music. You can do a little something something, but you just, your personality is awful. You know, you're one of those by any means type of chicks and you, you've started all this shit with Nicki Minaj and now you're doing all this Ice Spice fuckery and I just don't, I don't know. I think you'll be around longer than I would like because the industry is going to keep using you as a puppet to piss off Nikki, and you're down to do anything and so you're a good tool for the industry to use to push their agendas and to you know do whatever they need if they want to if they want somebody that's gonna do pr stunts do distraction rituals do humiliation rituals kick up faction manufactured beef they can call on lotto they can count on lotto if you need a pr stunt to cover up another train derailment you can call Lotto. If you need somebody to kick up imaginary rat beef to cover up some of the banks failing and some of the laws getting passed, you can call Lotto. Um, if you need somebody to push um, the beta sex kitten agenda and over-sexualizing women, you can call Lotto. So if you need somebody to push the light skin is better narrative and to push uh, white supremacy and colorism and push, you know, just Karens and hip hop, and you can call Lotto. Lotto pushes a lot of agendas. She's a big industry puppet. I like to call them industry screwdrivers or industry wrenches. They're just the little nuts and the bolts that, just the tools that build the house. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know how you treat a wire cutter. You know how you treat a hammer. You don't give a fuck how hard you bang that hammer up against that nail and that screw because they're all just little tools to help you build the home or to build the building. You know what I'm saying? Like that is what these people are. Coyle Ray, you know, Erica Banks, Megan Thee Stallion, Lotto Cardi, they are nothing more than tools that push industry agendas, the Freemason agendas. So Lotto is going to probably be around for a little bit longer, but not forever. Her reign will stop. She will either fizzle out or she'll have to go to reality TV or, you know, acting. A lot of these girls are going to reality TV. You know, a lot of the names that you hear on this list, they're not going to Hollywood. They're going to Atlanta or they're going to Miami to do reality TV. If they go to Hollywood, they're going to Zeus, okay? They're not going to Bravo, Um you know, MTV, VH1, they're not going there. So I'm just telling you the reality. Well, well, they'll go to VH1. Um, but you know, like, you know, because, because they're loving hip hop on there. Sorry, but they probably go to BT, VH1, you know, like the lower ends of Viacom. Are they going to MTV? No, no. MTV doesn't have shit popping anyway. Shit. VH1 is the one running shit still. And, you know, and Zeus is, is making a come up. So a lot of these girls you'll see on VH1 and Zeus, um, in the future, but um, you definitely won't see them on the charts. <laughs> so I'm just saying. But with what's her name? Uh, Lotto. I don't really like Lotto's energy. And now with all this bullshit with her and 21 chromosomes, a lot of people don't really aren't really vibing with her. And her music isn't sticking. People aren't really buying it. She's surviving off her radio play. I don't foresee it uh, much longer. But she's going to definitely go out kicking and screaming. I definitely feel like she'll be... Definitely one of the main people um, who goes to reality TV once they can't um, push any more rap agendas or whatever, whatever, they'll have to go to reality TV. And she will run to Mona Scott Young, you know, with, with the fucking nicest Nikes on. Mona, get ready for a call. Get ready for a casting casting tape from Lotto because she's ready. She is so ready. She wants to be seen so bad. 
she will love if she loves mess and she loves to do hood shit and steam hood and act hood and talk in her african-american e- e- vernacular aka ebonics she loves it so she would love nothing more than to get up on reality tv and talk in her hood voice and scrap over a dusty has been you know or excuse me never was ass nigga okay so i just give it give it give it 30 36 months and Lotto will be on reality TV. Um, she shouldn't be rapping. I'm wishing her the best though. Um, I probably would rather watch her on reality TV so I could see her, you know, at least she could entertain me better that way. Cause I'm not entertained by the raps. Koi Lorraine, like I said, Koi, Koi Fish, Ice Spice is shitting on you. And she's also shitting on Lotto. Like Lotto was pressed because Ice Spice is here and completely just kicking the bitch in the gut. It's like, damn Lotto, get up off the floor, bitch. Get off the floor, Lotto. Swing. Because Ice Spice is diving on your ass. And the same goes for Coyle Ray.